What is going on guys? My name is Roman back again from Moment of Views here with the last episode, the season finale of Goblin Slayer. This is going to be episode 12, which is the fate of an adventurer. I've actually went back and renewed my Crunchyroll subscription. The main reason why is because if you guys don't remember, I'm going to be doing my my, my Flashback Friday series, and a lot of the series that I'm going to, I want to watch are is is on Crunchyroll, so it's 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 easier basically than using a third party site. But yeah, I am ready to jump into this. Last episode we got the guild ver the guild of adventurers versus all the goblins the hundreds of goblins uh the or the orcs or the ogres i forgot which one it was and the champions showed their faces so now it was like the veterans like okay stand back newbies yeah this is our turn to shine and plus we got that amazon that buff amazon chick and that was a uh, pretty pretty great if i must say so myself but the main thing that i was also really good was we got to see Goblin Slayer basically step behind the shadows and stare into the Goblin Lord. Um, and I know a lot of people are saying that the Goblin Lord was not, was yes, they were higher up than the actual Goblin Champion, but it was, it was through hierarchy, not in terms of like physical strength. Like, I assumed that the Goblin Lord was a stronger person than the Goblin Champion, but it turns out the Goblin Lord is mostly known for his brains more than his brawn, I guess you could say. But guys, without further ado, let us jump in to the final episode of Goblin Slayer. Start in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. Is this where, is this where he's ran away? Yep. Oh, so that's him talking. That is him talking. Okay. He has a fairly normal voice. I thought it would be more gravelly. Gro if. Not, not yet. That's a, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> I knew that was what you would think. <laughs> Alright, baby! Come on! <laughs> I hope they don't show an intro this episode. <laughs> and so are you. Ah, damn it. Okay. Not gonna lie, I kinda did wish that the, um... That they weren't going to show the actual um, intro because I wanted to jump right into the actual action. Um, I'm gonna go lower the opacity even more, so it might be a little bit like a little bit less harder, to, uh, like maybe harder to see. Um, the reason is, like I said, I'm actually using a really good site now. Uh, well, a site that has good quality stuff, guaranteed. Um, so. In fact, I can looking at it right now. I can already tell that this is much cleaner, because this is using a uh, a much better <laughs> quality video. But to counteract this, I'm going to be dropping the opacity level just a little bit. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing. Oh shit! Hold on. Oops! I did not mean to do it. Hold on, hold on. I don't know how that changed really quickly. Give me a second. I have no idea why it actually changed the actual size really quickly. <laughs> Oops. No one, uh... I have no idea why it actually did that. Hold on. Let me just change the opacity just a little bit longer and change the gamma. Okay. That actually shouldn't be too bad. Alright. But yeah, I have no idea why it actually did that. It, it completely reset. Alright. Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to see this. All right. To stare off the fate of an adventurer. Hold on, I'm gonna go change the size just slightly. Oh, that eye! Oh, let's go! Come on, Goblin Slayer! He knocked off his. Oh, you took. You knocked off my shield. Oh, part of his shield. Y 
using eh, all the moves in the... Oh. You got a little cut right there, just... Uh. By the way, cuts on the head. Cuts on the head bleed heavily, profusely. <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. It's kind of funny. All right, so how many? Oh, nah, she, you're gonna get saved. Yeah, okay. I I did say that I think one of them was gonna die, but I'm probably gonna be wrong. Oh, I'm just checking really quickly, making sure the video is good enough for you guys. Okay, okay. You guys can see it good. And it's, you know. Split his head into, basically. But yeah, the, main, but the, but the big guys are fighting. Yeah, that would have been a bloodbath. I mean, you've hung around. <laughs> yeah, you've hung around the best. Hooks. <laughs> oh my god, damn! I really hope they go all out with the animation this episode. Alright, Guts! Oh, sorry. Guts. I want to see that Amazon girl. Let me see that dark-skinned waifu. With muscles that can squish my head into a million pieces. Because that's hot. And he's going to get sick. Oh! Just got backfisted! Damn! Hey, he's giving you gold! Technically, he's giving you gold! Oh, there it is! Oh, the soundtrack! Oh! Come on, release the soundtrack. The full soundtrack. There's a few uh, tracks that are allowed. You missed. Oh, you're fucking running up the chain! Rip. Even though you're a bit of a douchebag, you're kind of cool. He seems slightly weaker than normal. Looking at the green moon, the GM. What's up, cowgirl? I wasn't the same person as he used to. Ah. Oh. <laughs> kind of. He's still the same boy that I remember. He's getting. Oh, damn. Okay. Well. Oh, okay. So it was a bit of a... Oh, man. But he's lost complete... He's completely lost his left arm. Well, his ability. Oh, shit. Alright. It doesn't seem that effective, by the way. Just saying. Oh, never mind. I fucking lied. Something's all right here. No, 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 no. Oh, 
Oh! Oh, priest girl! Priest girl? Priest girl? Priest girl! Damn! She gave me clutch! Priest girl, are you gonna be the one to take him down? I am perfectly fine with this. How, how far she has come. Oh, she put a shield around him? Oh, that's some brutal shit. Oh, you're just crushing him? Oh! Oh, damn. That is a beautiful way to die. Well, for the goblins. Mm. Protection? Oh, I'll protect someone, all right. Just... Then I'll step him. Just kill him. No, he's not going to disintegrate. Well, that's too damn bad. You're damn right you won't have to do it again. Why? Because you did, bitch. Nah. Uh, yeah, that's not how it works. Nah, you're going to die. Oh, it's... And she knows all it takes. It was the thing she even said. The, the thing in Goblin Slayer said. They will grow. They will come back stronger. Because the only good goblin is a dead goblin. <laughs> Lord of my ass. And goblins should just... The Goblin Slayer. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie. I did kind of wish that, like the the shield would smash him. I thought that would have been much more brutal. Oh, oh! This was an. It was all part of my elaborate plan. Hey, not gonna lie, it was kind of hype though. That was that was really hype. So he per so he like like this show was more that like Goblin Slayer is now relying very heavily on people. He acted as bait. You're not going to confess, are you? I'd hope not. That's one thing I kind of I kind of don't want to happen, like Yeah, that's another thing. Like he's put his trust in other people. Like this just shows that he kind of grew as a character. I mean, granted he was a very one-dimensional of a character, so any type of growth would be any growth, I mean, at the same time, but it it, it was a good type it was a good kind of growth, I mean. The dawn of a new day and the Goblin Lord is dead. Ah, uh, yes, your childhood friend. I wouldn't say he's fit as a fiddle, but he's good. Is this how it ends? No, whoa, we're only halfway through the episode. Huh. Why is the, why is the main character, well, the main hero is that kind of type? Are they gonna meet? Are they gonna meet?
I mean, so that's showing that even the hero knows. Oh, shit. That's kind of cool. Hey, yeah, it didn't show how many people died. I think, that, like, for sure two. <laughs> Kanpai! Hold on, hold on. <laughs> he's having his he's having his fucking bone dinosaur. I know it's a bone warrior, but yeah. A goblin is a goblin. <laughs> there was no asterisk. Yeah, that's true. They got yeah. He really only killed one. No, he killed. There's he killed more. That's cool. That's cool. She, because without her help, he wouldn't have been able to. I'm guessing a gold coin in this in this world is quite a bit. I mean, like in the last episode when they, when Girl Girl was saying that um, when Girl Girl was saying that everyone who killed the so uh, any person who killed the goblin was it was one gold coin. They were all ecstatic. You, you might have just seen the quality just shifted, but eh, there it goes back. He never really considered himself an adventurer the entire time. He just saw himself as a, just a person taken on quests only related to goblins. Yeah, that's right. You were sleeping on him. Mm hmm. He's recognizing you. Technically. She did most of the work. I guess you could say. He was never in it for the money. That's true. And he's out. He's out for the count. I don't think so. If he showed that he was... Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's why he begged. So there was an actual quest beforehand to save that village, possibly? Hmm. <laughs> They're not wrong there. They're definitely not wrong. Hey, it's kind of weird. It's because you like him. For an, for an award. Reward, whatever. Protect that smile. Protect that smile. Oh. Oh. No, he's fall he's asleep. Are they gonna do that trope where he No, no, don't do it. Don't say it. Don't confess. Don't confess. Don't confess. 
I want to see what's behind your mask. It's another mask. <laughs> I do. Okay, that's actually fine. I right, so I hit my boom, my pop filter. I would laugh so hard if behind his ma his helmet is another helmet. I would laugh my ass off, but I know that's not the case. Are they gonna actually show his face? No, they're not. They're not. They better not. I'm actually glad if they don't. <laughs> and no, you see it now. <laughs> Everyone's like, he took off the face mask. I. I will lose my shit too. <laughs> Guild girl, burn it into your mind. Well, she's seen it. <laughs> Everyone's like, this, this is a. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just watching. Oh, uh, I'm. Please don't show his actual face. I'm actually. Ah. Uh, the Betty Blue. What? <laughs> this is a modern work of art here. That's okay. That's that's a good way to end the up uh, the season. That is a good way to end the season. Not gonna lie. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. After credit scene? No. Okay. So I'm going to let this play off. I'm gonna leave this play. I do like that though. He took off the mask and everyone's like, Nani <laughs> that, that That definitely is cool. I am very glad that they didn't show this entire face. Yes, they showed a little brief snippet of it back in episode 8, but this is the first time he willingly took it off and showed everybody. Okay, but my whole thoughts on the actual show it was a good show. Was it the best show of the season? I think. Even though I haven't even seen it, the amount of people would probably say Bunny Girl Senpai, and I, I, I'm currently in the middle of that, so can't really get my own thoughts. But this definitely was, alright, I'm gonna go hide it as per usual, uh, until something else happens. But if I were to give it a rating system, from my personal experience, not counting anything for the manga, because I'm not a manga reader, well, for, of this show, so I'm not gonna count it. But as a, just an anime, I would probably give it an 8.5 out of 10. There are moments of slowness and just kind of like just, kind of like just slow burn. And I don't mind that if it was in a 24 episode series, but this is a 12 episode series and I wanted a lot more fighting. Although White Fox, I do have to admit, they did some really good things. They did this one thing, I think it was an episode nah, seven. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hey, it's Canary. Huh, they, cha they changed the bottom. Yeah, they did. They rolled the dice. Is that the original cave? Is that the first cave? Yeah, okay. And they're going back to all the, uh, where all the major battles was, because this was episode two. No, this was episode three. Or was it four? I don't really remember. That's where he died. Episode seven. I will say, episode seven had that one moment where there was a 360 view during the um, battle. I really want other animation studios to do that, because that was a, that was brilliant.
No one knows the fate of him. Except this time. Interesting. Yes! It's a guarantee! He will return! Okay, I was about to say, I was like, okay, this show got v was very popular, especially in the West. Um, Goblin Slayer was guaranteed super popular, and I had a feeling it was going to be popular too in Japan. Without all the naysayers, like, oh, the thumb's better than the manga. I don't give a shit. I really don't give a shit. Why? Because manga, you can go more into death and more in more detail. And even more detail, well, more detail-oriented outside of, like, you know, interactions in the light novel. But the anime can animate things. I mean, I know. Not the most groundbreaking revelation right there. But the anime, when it was on its highs, was high. It was a very, really good show filled with action, and it was jam-packed with a bunch of stuff. The music was god tier during the moments of the battle. Other were otherwise, I mean, in all honesty, the soundtrack was mostly forgettable. Out, despite the moments where there was like when it was downtime and it was just casual. I mean, it, there was a background track, yes, but it wasn't anything stand out or stand outish. Um, but the battle scenes are in the. The battle scenes is where the music definitely kicked in, and people will remember. In fact, I'm waiting for the actual soundtrack for when he's actually fighting. Um, in fact, you heard it in this episode, too. And honestly, that could easily be something I would be listening to on my own iPhone. On my phone, and listening to it. I know, I know, I just gave away my my uh, <laughs> my smartphone. I know a lot of people are like, ah, iPhone, get that out of here. Anyways. The soundtrack... I would probably give a... Mm, it's hard to say. Even then, like, if I were to give a rating system, I'd, I'd probably give it an 8.5 out of 10 as well. Just like the actual overall anime. Simply because, like I said, when it has its moments of high, it's really high. But when it's low, it's kind of unforgivable. Although, granted, the actual anime, even during the slow moments, most of the time, you can remember what's going on. Despite it not being super action-packed. Although, like I said, I kind of did wish that most of this was more action-packed. In fact, I really wanted to see a giant wave of goblins fight off, fight with those adventures. Not just, like, a few mini skirmishes here and there. That is one complaint I would have. Like, it's more of a nitpick more than anything. It's what if I would have personally liked to see. But, the last episode is... Mm, okay, so episode 7 is still my favorite. From a first-time point of view... Although the animation style on episode 7 was phenomenal. Then it would probably be this one, and then the episode, I believe, episode 4, where he kills the gob um, that goblin uh, with the scroll. It was either, I think it's episode 4. Yeah, it was episode 4. So, yeah, 7, 11, 4. Uh, 7, 11, 4. Easily my favorite episodes. Episode 12, it was good. I do like how it ended. Ended good. The funny thing is, if it wasn't for this little scene right here, this little title, this Goblin Slayer will return, I would have thought that it's ended exactly how it was supposed to. Open-ended, but at the same time, it was closed. At the same time. Because it's said, yep, yep, he's still around, he's still doing his tasks. To this day. And no one knows. No one, not even the gods, know how he will turn out. But, this is a guarantee of, I'm, I'm guessing they're, either, they're probably going to pull a bunny girl, where they're going to give him a movie, and then probably continue on afterwards. Most likely. I, but I do have a feeling that they could probably do another se a season. In fact, I, either way, I'm going to be ragging But either. Don't know when it's going to happen. Um, in fact, I probably think it will be announced near the end of the year. Um, it, I, it would, no, no, no. It, if we get something, it will be, it will come out near the end of the next year, 2019. Kind of like winter as well. We'll see what happens. Like I said, I think it's very, it was very popular here in the West, and I feel like it was probably super popular back in the East as well. So, let me know what you guys think of Goblin Slayer. That is the last episode for this season. Guaranteed we're getting more content, though, with this uh, title. And I don't, I am honestly not surprised, because Goblin Slayer was a great ride, and something that I thoroughly enjoyed. But... That's it for this video, guys. My voice is about to go out, if you guys can't already tell. I've been suffering the sickness, but thankfully I, would, I didn't sound like I was going through puberty. 
But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching Goblin Slayer. Next time you'll see me, I'm going to be reacting... Well, I'm going to be re-reacting to Plastic Memories. Unless... Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't... I, I, I'm not sure if I'm... I, I'm probably going to be starting off with the next season soon. I need to actually go write down my... Write down what I'm going to be watching. Um, and figure out the days I'm going to. And then plan my... Well, work schedule around it. Um... And all that jazz. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching Goblin Slayer with me. If you guys have been with me since episode 1, I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. For sure, Flashback Fridays next week. Um, but I don't know exactly what I'm going to be reacting to immediately first. Uh, but we'll see from there. I will see you soon. Until next time, see ya.